Hello and welcome back to today's video and in today's video we are doing an update on our Solenopsis Germanata slash Tropical Fire Ant and these ants have been in a test tube for a while now, probably a couple of weeks. So in last week's video we set them up a test tube in a box setup. so if you haven't watched last week's video go watch it just before watching this video because it leads on from last week's video. So we set up this little tank from Wakushi. Uh, in last week's video and now we are placing the fire ants inside so let's let these fire ants free because they're already really active inside with all the movement of the test tube so let's take the cotton off just place it down there so the workers on the cotton can escape and they are a very very small species so you can't see them very well but you can see them in bits so I'll zoom in a bit more now so you can get a better view and here you go there is a better view and you can see the ants walking around a bit as well and if you're wondering what the green liquid is in the water feed, it is our own ant aid and it is on our store now if you'd like to buy any, the link will be in our description and it is mega and these ants definitely loved it from when I'm recording this video they've been in there for about a week now and they've drank about half of it and that is a lot for considering how small the colony is but the colony is probably up to about 50 workers now and has a huge huge love and brood pile and I can't wait for this colony to explode and eventually have them in a huge planted a tank and it will look really really good and I also popped them in a little bit chopped up mealworm on the spoon dish as you can see and they are wandering around loads they're really active and uh, to this day there's always about five ants wandering around in the outdoors getting water getting nectar getting something and as you can see the ants pick up little bits of the sand grains and filling up the tube They've filled up a lot of the tube at this point and as you can see there there's also fire ants eating some of the mealworm but yeah there was a whole crew working on moving some sand and gravel into the test tube I think it's so they gave them a bit more security because they were in a big open box now and the mealworm on the right was an old mealworm that was out of the test tube and they've knocked out but the mealworm on the left is a fresh one and they absolutely love that now and I'll show you a clip when there was loads of workers on it so as you can see here there's quite a few workers on the mealworm now all going at it trying to get some as much food out as they can and the mealworm was chopped up so there was a bit of like a gut area that's leaked out at the top so they were all at that end and it seemed like they were loving it and they started to like kind of bury it, they didn't try to bury it but they started covering it a bit this is protected so predators can't see it from above who can steal the food so yeah they absolutely love this mealworm I also made up the fire ants another test tube so if they want to still brood in here like a satin lioness I don't think they will at this size but it's also just got some more fresh water in uh, as because the other test tube that I did for some reason when I did eat I put two cotton balls in and then they don't get enough moisture in there I don't think so I've got this one there just for an extra bit of water just in case in case they're not getting as much moisture as the candy out of the other test tube so yeah let's pop this test tube in and also if you haven't checked out our store we've got loads of awesome species on there and we've got some very very cool tropical species coming very very soon onto our store so stay tuned for that so i filled up this test tube with purified water stuck in the cotton bud nice and easily after i squished it in and yeah there we go just need to push the cotton bud down and it is ready get all the moisture nice to the top so they've got some nice drinking water easy to access and let's get it straight into their outworld cell i was a bit worried in case they weren't getting enough water in that other test tube because as i said i did make the cotton very thick for some reason i don't know why i did that uh, but you can even see if you look at the other test tube there's like a gap where it's not very moist so hopefully they've got all the moisture they need from this one now if they don't get enough from the other one already and there we go, they've got an extra tube for when the colony gets nice and big and they need somewhere else to store their, uh, to store the brood and stuff. And this is a little time lapse of just a 10 second of the colony running around. And you can see one of the workers that are just in, just under the tube now, that's very inquisitive, is literally scanning out the whole edges of the tank. And yet, there's still workers on the mealworm eating off it. And this meal, I feed them probably two or three mealworms a week. Uh, sometimes even a bit more because I want these colonies to grow fast so we can get them into awesome setups and get you some awesome content with these workers. 
and also we have got our yellow crazy ants if you haven't seen a video of our yellow crazy ants in the past it will be in one of our old videos go check it out the yellow crazy ants are doing all right we messed up a bit because we put them in outworld on in the nest and then they started nesting in the outworld which is a long story that we'll explain in the update coming soon and we've also got two new species that we're getting introduced to you soon which are really really cool so make sure you stay tuned on the channel for that go down below subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time we upload a video and i have mentioned this before but we have got three new awesome items coming on our store very very soon it should be a week or two maximum until they come on our store but we're having our first ever ant kingdom nest coming on our store and then also we are having our first ever tropical species we are having black crazy ants and yellow crazy ants coming very soon and you might be thinking we don't have a black crazy ant colony yet but when they come in stock on the store we will keep one for ourselves so there will also be black crazy ant videos coming very very soon so stay tuned and we're going to have like a three four queen colony of black crazy ants so it will be awesome and then we'll also be selling quite a few black crazy ants and yellow crazy ants we do have a limited stock for this time but when they sell out we will order some more as fast as we can and get them back in stock as fast as we can so this fire ant colony is doing awesome and we are trying to feed them as much as we can so they get bigger and we can get more content out with these fire ants and we absolutely love this colony so thanks for watching this week's video that will be it for this week but stay tuned for more updates on these fire ants and other species but we absolutely love these species and as you can see they are crawling all in and out into the new test tube and everywhere so thanks for watching this week's video hope you liked it if you did like it make sure you go down below like and subscribe hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time we post a video and we've got some awesome content coming soon especially with the new black crazy ants coming so thanks for watching and i'll see you next week